Thank you very much, Mr. Sessions. And I'm going to call upon Mr. Garcia if he wants to make a closing statement. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, of course, I want to thank our, our witnesses again today, and I want to highlight something that's been mentioned a few times, and that is that our uh, ports of entry are really engines of commerce and are places where um, our economy is succeeding in the U.S. because of the work that you're all doing and, uh, and because of the commerce that's happening across our ports of entry. Uh, we also know that if we want to in improve the economy, uh, improve our ports of entry, we really got to focus also on uh, a safe and secure process for processing commerce. And I think that's something that we're all obviously interested in on this committee, and clearly uh, both of you are as well. Uh, border security is also about ensuring that our economy is strong and that we're also providing an orderly process. It's something that the administration is working on uh, and something I know that um, all of us are committed to as well. Um, and while I, I shouldn't need to remind everyone, I just as an important reminder uh, for for, for, for everyone here, but every single Republican that's a part of this subcommittee actually voted against funding for uh, Custom Border Patrol's efforts at the border uh, uh, just recently. And so there's been a lot of uh, concern about the border, a lot of concern about um, how we're going to support uh, the work you're all doing. Um, but the Republicans that have been asking you questions today actually all voted against that funding. They also vo they voted against $230 million dollars. Uh, against technology, against funding to improve operations between our ports of entry. And that happened in the appropriations package uh, um, uh, just recently. They also voted against $60 million for more personnel for CBP and $70 million for non-intrusive inspection technology at the ports of entry. That was also part of the appropriations package. They also voted against $430 million in funding to build out ports of entry with non-invasive non inspection technology. To, elect, to detect illegal narcotics and fentanyl coming into our country. So as we hear a lot about um, taking on fentanyl and supporting all of you, um, every member of the subcommittee actually voted against all of that. That, of course, was in the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. So I think it's important for us to be serious about border security uh, and House Democrats are, and I want to thank you again for uh, your testimony. And Mr. Chairman, with that, I yield back. Thank you. Uh, just